Hello, everyone. Uh, today we will talk about a very important topic is about uh, storing secrets. And we will talk today about AWS service. And we will have one more uh, workshop uh, about Azure uh, services, which help you to store your secrets. Uh, so why we actually need it? Yeah, we need somewhere to store passwords, API key, database credential, and um, there are different ways to do it. And if you already start to use an AWS, it's very will be very useful, easy to integrate and go with um, services that AWS provide. And if I will talk about the services, which will uh, look today, it's uh, secret management, uh, system manager parameter store, and uh, Amazon S3 with server side encryption. So these services provide a range of benefits for secrets management, and few of like um, most important benefits you can see here. So first is encryption. Uh, so the services uh, help to protect from unauthorized access. Uh, access control, it means that you can uh, define who and when will have access to the data. Uh, auditing and monitoring, it means that um, you, um, uh, you will track access to the, uh, the secrets and detect any suspicious activities. Um, and the last one is optimization. So, Edible services offer features like automation secret rotation, which allow you to rotate secret regularly and minimize the risk of exposure. And let's look deeper on the services. The so first one is AWS Secret Manager. Uh, what the service allow? The service allow, um, so it's um, have capability for uh, rotation. Um, you can define which day you want uh, to schedule it. Uh, automate generation of secrets and rotation with Lambda. So it's it's not automatically, you need to configure it. Uh, also, we have very good integration with Amazon ADS and can be encrypted by using KMS service. Also, uh, it's good to know that it supports multi-region secrets. So if you uh, service not in one uh, region, you can use one secret for for different region. <laughs> so what is allowed? It's um, replicate secrets across multi-region. Uh, secrets manager keep uh, read replica in sync with a primary replica and um, when it's the most common use cases is uh, when you have first multi-region app, but it's not the one case. Also, it can be used, for example, disaster recovery strategy or uh, when you have multi-region uh, database. And here you can see actually the schema from multi-region secrets. So as you see, you have a secret primary on one availability zone and uh, you can have a replica in secondary. And also let's um, check a little bit so uh, how it works. So it's not free, so you will need to pay uh, for, for secrets if you want to use them. Uh, it's monthly and also by API calls. You have five types of secrets. Uh, so it's RDS, as I mentioned, it's easy to integrate uh, document database, uh, credential for Amazon Redshift cluster, for other database, and for other type of secrets. And here we will check different type of secrets, so just usual secret that you can use. So go here and you can simply add key and value. So, for example, we have my secret and we have my secret value. Uh, we can add more. For example, API key and we add some key. It's have two different views. So it could be as um, 
in this format and it can be <laughs> in other formats so it's um, what is more comfortable for you to uh, add edit uh, also you can add uh, encryption key so you need to create it first it's taken from kindness you click next so here you put the secret name just to understand for example if you have some secret for for prod or for dev uh, also you can uh, set up uh, your resource permission it's very similar for example to s3 so you can define uh, who and which um, access which resources which access will have uh, to your keys and you can replicate secret it's actually means that you can use it uh, in different uh, region uh, so for example select some time zone uh, select encryption key add other region and for example, the same key. Uh, yeah, so it's, um, yeah, and next one is automatic rotation. It's what I mean, it's configurable. So you can determine the time uh, when it will be updated and you will use new. And if you will use rotation, you will need also defined Lambda function, which will actually generate this um, secret. Here you will see all details about your configuration and also you will have a sample code. You can copy paste this code and use in your uh, application. So it will speed up uh, your time. Okay. Uh, it was about uh, secret management. Uh, next, let's go to SSR. SSM parameter store and uh, here what actually it's a low so it's secure store for configuration and secrets it's optional um, you can add encryption with KMS um, it's serverless it's scalable it's durable it's a very easy easy key uh, it have version tracking of configuration and secrets and um, if you want to get notification, you can configure it together with event bridge. Uh, so here is example. So for example, we have application and we have parameter store as on the schema. Um, we can, for example, uh, add some plain text configuration. So a, a IAM permission for you will be checked. So for example, uh, your EC2 permission role, or um, you can have encryption configuration. So in this case, SSL parameter store is going to encrypt it with KMS and KMS will be used for encryption and decryption. And you need to be sure that you have access to this KMS key. Also here in the left side, you can see uh, how you store in it. So it's a differently that we just see. Uh, you here you will have a hierarchy so actually you can de determine any hierarchy that you want and in this example you have for example one application in this application you have dev environment which exists some of your keys and product environment that can actually i think will have the same key maybe even more prod usually have more and you can determine some other application um, yeah uh, here I wanted you, um, uh, yeah, before we jump here, I also want to um, mention that you uh, can uh, get data from the parameter store uh, by use get parameter or get parameter by pass API. And um, you can get secret from parameters through, through using reference. Um, reference, ah, yes, in the bottom. So the reference is AWS reference, secret manager, secret ID, secret manager. So for example, or the other way, uh, like other example, which you can use is for example, public uh, parameters, which are using um, with AWS. If you want to find some lattice, for example, lattice MEI in specific region. So in this case, you can see second example. So it's AWS service, uh, AMI, Amazon, Linux, lattice, slash, and the and the details uh, in the table you see parameter tiers 
and uh, what actually the uh, difference uh, two types standard and advanced and uh, the main difference in is in availability of parameter policy so for standard it's none as you see and for advanced actually you have some and what are these policies so first of all policies allow uh, assigned expiration date for a parameter uh, to first delete or update sensitive data for example like a password and here i want to show you a few examples so first example is to set up policies uh, when you need um, for example when you need delete some key so here you can set up a uh, type uh, version and attribute which actually timestamp of uh, deleting. Next one is, uh, for example, if you want to set up some notification uh, with event bridge, you can set up uh, like when you want to get this notification. And in example, is actually uh, 15 days. So uh, event bridge will send you like reminder. And the third one is, for example, if you want notify if some key like opposite haven't been updated during long time. So you can send notification as well. And in this example, you can see that it's, uh, if key was not updated during 20 days, it's, you will get notification as well. Uh, let's see some example. So how I actually create them. So you can go to configuration data management. It's actually in the page um, already have steps how to configure it very easy so in the name you just said full pass so you don't shouldn't be um, forget about hierarchy so for example we add some uh, name uh, we have type we will use security string because we assume that is password you can also use string uh, skms source will use my account and uh, yeah we select which specific kms key we want for description and we can add the value so as uh, as a secret uh, secure string, sorry, uh, you will not see this value. Uh, it have limitations. So based on your uh, plan, it have limitation uh, about the symbols, and you can see which uh, which item you have created. You can also go inside and see details about which exactly value uh, when it have been stored and um, other details about secret you have been created. Yeah, and the last one actually, how you can store the secrets. Uh, I have a few examples in my mind which came. Uh, it's when um, you set up, for example, a project and you can download secrets from a three bucket. It's one example. So a three bucket is a sort uh, option how where you can store uh, secrets with uh, you need to use server side encryption uh, we talked about encryption in previous workshop um, so yeah i just think what else i want to add it here because that's all i think for amazon SEO, i will not uh, stay too long uh, we mentioned it a few times during other workshops um, so I think this is what I wanted to share with you today. Um, yeah, thank you for your time. I hope that it was useful. Any questions, comment, please left. Uh, and I will be also glad if you will uh, add uh, to our uh, group in LinkedIn and to my, my personal profile. Any suggestion, uh, also will be glad if you will write me personally. Yes, yeah, see you in a couple weeks.